I'm going to have him probably go with 23 years old and healing. I say healing and I don't say I've healed because it's a constant journey. It's something that you constantly have to aspire to, but it's not a destination. You don't arrive. You're constantly getting there. Um, I am a skeptic. I recently learned. And I'm a skeptic because... Um, I think I'm a skeptic because I needed to become a skeptic to get to where I needed to go. There needed to be obstacles preventing me. I needed to triumph over the obstacles. I needed to let go. I needed to realize that it was beyond me. It was no longer my fight, my journey, my destination. I want to say it was, it's a collective energy. It's something everyone needs to aspire to. And I say that because once you get there, you feel the need to approach people, to talk to other people, to invite people into your space. You feel the need to talk about it. And when you feel that need to talk about it, you know, you're getting there. You're getting to the, to the place that you need to get to to begin your journey. Because that's the thing. It's a journey to get to the beginning of the journey. <laughs> Nothing stops. So, yeah. Nothing stops. Everything is constantly going. And you need to remember that you can be scared. You need to be scared. You need to be scared because healing is difficult. Healing is very difficult. It will take everything from you. And you'll realize you still have more. It will take that more from you. And you'll realize you still have an insy wincy bit left. And so on and so forth. It's like those dolls. You know those dolls? Where you open one and you find another one? It's like the Japanese dolls, end. yes, those ones. It's like the dozen end. Because layers and layers of onions. Left in you. There's always something fucking left in you. Despite efforts of everything in my life for me not to get here, I'm here. Despite everything that needed me not to arrive here, I have arrived. It started with Rhodes. I needed to come to Rhodes. I needed to take a break and I needed to listen to myself and I needed to realize that the place I was being led to was Rhodes. And I did. And that's what I'm saying is sometimes you will have to take a different path to other people. You'll have to take a path that you don't understand. But you'll know. Like, I knew I didn't need to come to school at that time. And the reason for that was I needed to realize that I needed to come here. And no one else could put that realization in myself except for me and except for God. But I also needed to be open to hear. And that's the beginning of the journey. When you become open to hear, open to listen, open to guidance. And I say guidance because you are not being led. You are being surrounded. You are being engulfed. They're standing next to you. No one is dragging you. No one is pulling you. Everything is consensual and you won't even realize it. You just need to open your heart. You need to realize that I'm on the right path. This is what I needed. And everything else will be confusing and scary, but you'll know in your heart that everything is fine. And once you learn to trust yourself, it's amazing. It's amazing the things you can withstand, the things you can undergo, the things you can become. Because you know you got you. Not only do you got you, but you got this. You know? You are your own best and worst enemy. But you can be your own worst enemy in becoming the best version of yourself. Because that person is constantly pushing you to get there. And you need to listen to her. You need to listen to him. You need to listen to them. They know. And you know. And you are them. <sighs>